again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony Tamer at Firewalls.com with another WatchGuard how-to video. Today we're going to be discussing creating and restoring a backup of your Firebox settings. For the purposes of this demonstration, I wanted to point out that my external interface is currently set to pick up an address automatically via DHCP. So I'm going to go ahead and save my settings by going to System, scroll down to Backup Image, then you'll need to enter an encryption key, as you can see here. Then to make sure you remember this key, you might use a password generator. Just make sure you save the information because you will need it when restoring the backup later. Just so you know, this process does take a few minutes, but we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, now that our backup is downloaded and stored in a safe location, let's go ahead and make some changes to the firewall. Starting with our network interface. We're going to go ahead and change that address just for the example. Now of course my firebox was receiving an address dynamically so with these settings suddenly I'm not going to be able to get to the internet. So we want to go ahead and restore our settings. Go to system, restore image. Once again you'll need that encryption key that hopefully you memorized or stored in a safe location. As you can see here once your backup file is restored you'll need to reboot the firebox. If this is addressing an urgent situation, of course you'll want to go ahead and do that right away, otherwise you may want to wait until users are no longer on the network. Once again, we're going to do a little time warp here. As you can see, now that we've restored our image to a known good configuration, our external interface is set back to DHCP and should be working properly. Now that you know how to create and restore your backup, we recommend creating a backup after your initial configuration and before and after any significant changes to the network. If you found this video useful, we'd appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Firewalls.com wants to remind you once again to get secure, stay secure.